we have seen a phenomena called diffusion in gases right what happens in gases if i if i spray perfume in this in this part of the room just after some time the tendency is that these these molecules will travel to all parts of the room fine and that's why the whole of the room becomes scented you can actually perceive that that some day or some spray has been put in right why does that happen because the particles that are here with a high concentration they move from high concentration to low concentration we get the point they move from high to low concentration and this process we were told is called diffusion right so so diffusion is a is a process of movement of particles in in a gaseous medium from a region of high concentration high concentration to low concentration in this region the the perfumed particles were in high concentration they moved into the region of low concentration fine now the same kind of process continues in a liquid okay what will happen let us say let us say you have you have a you have a container and you say pour uh, there is a separation here say okay there is a sheet that you have put in a plastic sheet and you put okay dirty water here and you put you put a dirty water here and maybe you put clean water here and then you suddenly pull this partition out out just pull it out what do you expect to happen you find after some time you cannot say that i can take water from this side and it will still be clean right so what has happened even in liquid when suddenly that partition is away nothing okay when you pulled it out nothing remains so so still what happens the the dirt particles they'll try to go there and the liquid particles they'll try to move here so that after some time the whole of the water will be equally dirty okay that is quite 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 natural and this is a natural process that is followed okay now comes the interesting thing <coughs> what if instead here it was absolutely non permeable and suddenly we pulled it out okay now instead of this non permeable partition i put a semi permeable membrane okay so so if instead of this if instead of this i put a i put a semi permeable membrane fine so it is here and and in between i put a semi permeable membrane fine this is a this is a semi permeable membrane 
Now all membranes do not have this capacity. They are all membranes are not semi permeable membrane. Okay. So, so this semi permeable membrane can have an animal origin. Animal origin which is? So pig's bladder. Okay. Or of plant origin where you have parchments okay or it can be synthetic which is cellophane fine now this has a peculiar peculiar characteristic this is this is this is this is a, a membrane that has got very fine holes in it okay so so very fine holes maybe I am showing it a bit bigger but but in order to show that I have to do that it's not that big right otherwise it will be like a perforation it is not that if you see it is a sheet kind of thing maybe a paper kind of thing but these are small holes in that and what happens the the solvent molecules which are small the solvent molecules which are <coughs> small they are able to cross this membrane fine the solute molecules they are normally larger and they they will not be able to cross it so so maybe this <coughs> this okay so solvent molecules small are small and hence are able to cross the are able to cross the membrane the solute molecules are large and are not able to cross the membrane okay fine now if that is the case the tendency the diffusion tendency this tendency still remains what happens particles want to go from the place where they are in higher concentration to the place where they are in lower concentration now obviously the solute particles also try to move to the left okay to the left i have put some water with or, or maybe some solvent with some solute particles in it they also try to move to the left but due to the small size of of the perforations of the holes in between in the semi permeable membrane they are not able to cross it understand but solute molecules are definitely not bound by that they are not obstructed so they will cross from the higher to the lower concentration and to the right hand side since there are no solute particles here their concentration is high okay their concentration is high so so they do not lose that nature they do not lose this nature they do not lose this nature okay here what had happened there was no cover there, there was nothing to, to 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 partition them so so the clean water more water molecules moved here and more dirt molecules moved here and it became all uniform here what I have I done I have restricted the dirt molecules from moving to the right but water does not lose its own natural nature it keeps on seeping to the left understand and after some time an equilibrium is built and after some time an equilibrium is built so so you will find that the, the level of water on this side will start rising and here it will go down. 
You understand? Here it will go a bit down. It will be like that. You see it? And why has that happened? Because some fluid, some, some matter has moved from the right to the left. Rightly so. Fine. So, what happens? Does solvent molecules move from the region of their higher concentration of their whose solvents higher concentration to to the region of of solvents lower concentration we understand that is to the left that is from that is from right to the left in this process the height of the liquid to the left goes up the height of liquid to the left goes up and that to the right goes down and that to the right goes down it will happen and at one point of time an equilibrium will be reached okay goes down till an equilibrium is attained correct now what happens during the equilibrium it is not that there is no movement of the solvent particles even at the equilibrium there is movement but but the particles moving from the from the right to the left equals the particles that are moving from left to the right okay that is the point so it is again a dynamic equilibrium and not a static equilibrium there is a passage but it is equal and that is the point where the whole thing whole thing remains and stops that is the point of equilibrium okay now at the equilibrium at equilibrium at equilibrium the number of solvent particles moving from the left to the right is equal to the number of is equal to the number of particles of solvent particles is equal to the number of solvent particles moving from right to left to the left 
fine thus it is a dynamic equilibrium fine it is a dynamic equilibrium that we are talking about it the equilibrium is dynamic it's not static equilibrium it cannot be just think there is brownian motion there is a random motion in the particle suddenly it cannot happen that there is no movement from here to there even though there are small pores it just cannot be so so that's how the equilibrium is defined in osmosis okay